Okay, hi YouTubers. We'll try this again. I've been having problems with my camera. Uh, this is in response to Gold Hollow's uh, Prep Tech uh, contest. What I got here is some feeding your animals in a non-electric situation. Uh, we got here is old uh, can crank corn killer. You put the corn cobs in, turn the crank, and it sells all your corn off for you. You can mount this on a barrel. That way it catches catches everything a little better. Uh, cleans the cob off perfectly clean. And you got your corn nice and clean. Now I'm sure you could use that in the house too if you wanted to for yourself or feed. Um, but we use it for chicken feed. And what I got here, if I got some smaller chickens, we'll run it through here to crack it for them. And this uh, old meat grinder, but it works for corn too. And if you want a ground finder, you just run through another time. But this will crack it, make it a little more digestible for the chickens. Um, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to try to set my camera on here and see this. Uh, what we have here is a hand crank uh, chopper for chopping feed uh, root vegetables. If you have, uh, uh, say, you want to grow some uh, sugar beets or something. Well, sugar beets might be a little big for this, but uh, uh, so you got a bunch of carrots that you want to just uh, chop up for your animals. You got some sheep or goats or even cows. I can do this faster, but I'm afraid the camera's going to fall if I shake too much. So it chops them up real nice. Uh, makes it easier for your animals to chew it. So that's a kind of a handy thing to have. I found it at a rummage sale somewhere, and it's old. But again, there's no date on it. So that just chops things up nice. And I'm just going to give this to the chickens. Uh, here's another thing. It's kind of hard to see here. Uh, if I can zoom, zoom out. Um, this is my next but nest boxes, and what I did is I built this to the outside of the coop, so you don't have to go in the coop to pick up your eggs. You can just uh, reach in here and get the eggs out. Um, another thing I did that's kind of handy is up above the nest boxes, I built a box that extends into the chicken coop, and uh, what I do is I it's not being used right now except for just storing a bunch of stuff in. But this is where I keep my baby chicks. Uh, I got a uh, fencing up on top here to uh, keep critters out so, you know, like a raccoon or something can't get in and get at them. And uh, what I do is I hang a heat lamp from there and I can adjust the height for the size of the chicks. Uh, and if it's real cold, I can uh, uh, cover over this um, to keep more heat inside. Uh, but then I just put sawdust in the bottom and that works real nice. And See, this extends in. The chickens aren't using, you know, any of the area up here, so this extends into the chicken coop. Um, built like that, and there's the nest boxes below. And uh, the chickens just cleaning up. I get a bunch of bread from my neighbor. He gets it from uh, uh, the food pantry, stuff that they throw out that doesn't get picked up or, you know, given out. For whatever reason, so we get some from him once in a while. Here's another box here. He just moved some junk here. Nothing's being used now, so everything gets piled on top. Of. But this is another thing we keep uh, baby chicks in, and uh, it's got a couple light bulbs up in here, and, uh, and we just put some bedding in there, and it's handy. It was actually at one time. Uh, a cage somebody had for some snakes, but uh, they were going to throw it out, and I thought, oh, heck, that'd be nice for keeping chicks in. So we use that for baby chicks, too. Um, here, I, that bread I said I get, I just pile it in these barrels, and well, it's frozen out here. It's going to last for a long time. Don't have to worry about it getting moldy. Um, let's go outside here. Cold out today. It's, I think about. I don't know, it's two degrees right now, which 
for my friends up in Canada, it's, that means it's uh, 18 below maybe Celsius. So you can see how high the snow is here. Last year everything's covered. It was blowing like nuts. Here's a little picture of the house if anybody wants to see what our house looks like. Big old farmhouse built in 1902. Uh, we did a lot of work fixing up, putting new siding and everything on. But one of our other prep tech ideas here is oh, but a greenhouse. Uh, I think everybody should have a greenhouse of some type by their place. You know, everybody wants to grow a garden, but it's uh, awful expensive to go out and buy those started plants, especially up north you want to start with plants uh, for our tomatoes and peppers rather than starting with uh, seed in the garden. There, I left for a pile of snow. Um, <laughs> Hold out here. Like I said, it's about two degrees. We'll see what it is in the greenhouse. There's a lot of uh, a lot of snow on top of the greenhouse. Well, it's pretty much sliding off now. That's yeah, slightly slid off. That's good. So there was snow on top of it. But the sun doesn't really come up in here until uh, uh, probably about nine o'clock because the the sun is so low on the horizon that the uh, the house actually cast a shadow way over here. So it's, uh, I think it's almost 50 degrees in here, just with the little sunlight we are getting. And like I said, it's two degrees outside. So, you know, that's the difference it makes. But unfortunately at night it gets, you know, right down to the outside temperature. So I'm not really growing anything in here now. I have some raised beds in here. Uh, I took some onions and garlic that um, were out in the garden and rooted, uh, some that I missed picking, and uh, I stuck them in here and then I'll start watering them when it starts warming up and we should get an early start on those. I got a bunch of pots down here, uh, these are those hanging basket pots, um, use these things here to hang them, and I got this rail here, and uh, we grow cucumbers in here in those baskets, and uh, other plants, so I, I got my compost and everything ready. I got these barrels full of sifted compost. This is what I'll use to start my seeds in. It's pretty much frozen, but it's nice. This is sifted compost and manure. Uh, I did find out from some plants I started there is a, a lot of weed seed in that, though, because uh, that's some older compost and uh, it sat outside, and unfortunately, weed seeds drifted into it. So I got a lot of pots of stuff here ready so I can get an early start without having to worry about the stuff outside being frozen. But anyway, this is this is our greenhouse. And what I did is I made a 2x6 frame around the bottom, 12 foot wide, 24 feet long. And uh, it's all the treated 2x6s. And then I got my uh, PVC pipe with some clamps. And it's clamped on there with two straps on each one. And then I got a screw in the center. If you can see that uh, to hold it so it doesn't move. And then actually the raised beds were put in as a, uh, they're bolted to the frame uh, as weight to hold this down because we get so much wind here. We kind of live up on a hill and uh, it's windy here all the time. And then when I put these shelvings in, uh, they're also bolted on both ends uh, as extra weight to hold down the other side of the greenhouse. So this is all just a frame, and up here we got T's, PVC T's, that connect. Uh, got a two foot in between each one, and a ten foot section of uh, this is actual uh, uh, conduit, uh, non-metallic conduit. I thought that was a little more flexible than the white stuff, uh, and uh, tougher, not so brittle. Um, so these T's here, I found you can actually get them at Lowe's now. If you have a Lowe's around, you might find them there. That's the only uh, hardware store I found them at. These I actually ordered off the internet uh, because I didn't know they had them at Lowe's. And uh, on the end you just put a, uh, a T rather than a, a cross. And then the last section is I took some uh, couple sheets of uh, plywood and I got a door in the middle. This is latched from the outside so I can't open it. Um, 
but then that's just put on with those straps to hold it on. And then the plastic folds over the outside. It's actually hanging down here. And then we got to got around to finishing up and trying to make that look pretty. I never really had a good idea to do it. Um, in the summer, I just keep the doors open. If I'm working in here in winter or have the heater on, I can shut it, latch it. Uh, like I said, that's where I hang my baskets. And then I also, if you've seen my videos, I, I put rolls of pots down here with tomatoes and I tie strings up to the top and uh, keep them in there. Uh, so yeah, on the outside what I did is I just uh, put it over and found some lats and stuff and just tacked it down. Never really finished it up, but it's holding together beautifully. Uh, as much wind and storms as we've had, uh, this is no worse for the wear. We try not to put the snow too close to here, but uh, a little bit slid over the top when we were doing it. And you can see what slides down the sides. But I guess that keeps it anchored a little better in winter. So, awful cold out here, going to get much colder tonight. Uh, should go maybe 10 below with 30 below wind chill. Uh, the cows look like they're just finishing up eating. They'll be heading inside soon. So, they don't mind it so much. They're fat and happy. Then they go inside and lay down in the bedding. and They're nice, nice and warm. Get out of the wind. That's the main important thing. So, anyway, that's it for today. I just wanted to get a video here and some technology that you can use on your homestead to try to get ahead in, in the rough times here. So, bye for now.